In this Easy Ed video lecture, we will learn about the induction motors, construction and working of three phase motors, construction, working, and types of single phase induction motors, as split phase motor and shaded pole induction motor. Seriously, pay attention. This is important. In DC motors, the electric power is conducted directly through commutator. Hence, they are called as conduction motors. But in case of AC motors, the power is received due to the induction of voltage. Hence, the name induction motors. There are two types of induction motors, three-phase induction motor and single-phase induction motor. Let's start with the three-phase induction motor. Every motor consists of two main parts, a stator that remains stationary and a rotor that rotates continuously. A stator is an outer cylindrical hollow structure. It is made up of multiple laminated steel sheets joined together. Many slots are provided on the inner peripheral of the stator in which the copper coil is wounded to generate the magnetic poles. Lower the number of magnetic poles, higher is the speed of the motor. The actual stator looks as shown in the figure. Now let's study the rotor. A rotor is a part of a motor which acts as an inner cylindrical core and rotates continuously once the motor is started. It is always kept inside the stator. Depending on the types of windings used, the rotors are categorized in two types, squirrel cage rotor and phase wound rotor. Let's start with squirrel cage rotor. It is mounted on a central rod called as a shaft. It consists of a cylindrical body having multiple slots on it. The copper bars that act as conductors are mounted on these slots. Once constructed, this structure looks like the cage of a squirrel. Hence, the name squirrel cage rotor. The second type of rotor is a phase wound rotor or slip ring rotor. This rotor consists of slotted laminated core of steel mounted on a shaft. The copper winding is placed in the rotor slots having the same number of poles as the stator. The three brushes or slip rings are connected ahead of the structure as shown. The inner equivalent structure of the three-phase rotor can be drawn considering a shaft as a central axis. Hey, it's time to concentrate now. Let's see how a three-phase motor works. When the motor is connected to a three-phase supply, the rotating three-phase AC signal generates a fluctuating magnetic field across the stator. The direction of rotation of this field changes according to the positive and negative halves of the AC signal. According to Faraday's law, when the copper bars of rotor cut this magnetic field, the current gets induced in the rotor. This induced current develops the own magnetic field of rotor. When these two magnetic fields interact with each other, they develop the torque or force that drives the rotor in a circular motion continuously. Thus, three-phase motor is self-starting. If the rotor and the magnetic field of the stator rotate with the same or synchronous speed, rotor bars will never cut the magnetic field lines and there will be no current induced in the rotor. Hence, the rotor and the magnetic field of the stator never rotate with the same speed. The difference between the synchronous speed and the actual speed is called as the slip speed. It is given as percentage slip equals ns minus n upon ns into 100, where ns equals synchronous speed and n equals actual rotation speed of motor measured in rotations per minute. The advantages of three-phase motors are they are cheap, robust and reliable and can withstand overload conditions. Let's study the single phase induction motors. They are mainly used in fans, mixers, washing machines, etc. The construction of the single phase motors is very similar to the three phase motor with the stator made up of multiple sheets of laminated steel. The slots are provided on the inside peripheral on which the coil is wounded. Being the single phase motor, it has distributed single phase winding. The rotor construction is squirrel cage type. Thus, the copper bars are permanently shorted at both the ends with the help of end rings. When the single phase AC supply is connected to the motor, the magnetic flux is generated which rotates along the axis only. It never rotates like a three phase motor. Hence, single phase motors are not self-starting.
To overcome this drawback, the auxiliary winding is added to it temporarily 90 degrees apart from the main winding, making it a two-phase motor. Thus, once the two-phase motor is supplied with single-phase AC supply, the rotating flux is generated. When these magnetic field lines are cut by the rotor bars, they conduct the current. This current induces EMF in the rotor and the torque is generated that drives the motor. A centrifugal switch is connected in series with the auxiliary winding and is located inside the motor. Once the motor reaches the speed of 70 to 80 percent of synchronous speed, the starting auxiliary winding is disconnected from the supply with the help of this switch. There are three types of single phase motors depending on the type of winding used split phase motor, capacitor start motor, and shaded pole induction motor. There must be large phase difference between the currents of auxiliary winding and main winding of the motor needs to act as the two phase motor. Let's start with the split phase induction motor. The schematic diagram of split phase induction motor is as shown. The auxiliary winding along with the series resistance R is connected across the main winding. The two windings are placed 90 degrees apart and are connected in parallel with the AC power supply. Let IM be the current through the main winding, IS be the current through auxiliary winding, I be the motor current and V be the supply voltage. The main winding has low resistance but high reactance and auxiliary winding has low reactance and high resistance. Thus IS lags behind applied voltage V by small angle whereas IM lags the voltage V by large angle. This creates the large split between two current phases. And as there is a split between the two currents, this motor is called as split phase motor. Once the motor starts the rotation and attains the considerable amount of speed, the centrifugal switch goes off, disconnecting the auxiliary winding from the main winding and motor continues to work on the main winding only. The construction of capacitor start motor is very similar to split phase motor. Only difference is the capacitor is used instead of a resistor in series with the auxiliary winding. The capacitor draws the current such that the current leads the voltage. Thus, in the motor, the current IM still lags the voltage but the current IS leads the voltage. This increases the split angle between the two currents. As the starting torque is proportional to this split angle, such motors produce high starting torque and motor starts its rotation. The third type is shaded pole induction motor. In this motor, every laminated pole has a slot cut across the laminations approximately one third distance from the edge. A short circuited copper coil known as a shading coil is placed around the small part of the pole. This part of the pole is known as a shaded part and the other as a non-shaded part. As an AC signal is applied to the motor, the magnetic field gets generated. As the magnitude of the AC signal increases in the first half, the magnetic axis shifts from the non-shaded area to the shaded area and back to the non-shaded area. The same motion of axis happens during the negative half also. This motion of axis exhibits the nature of rotational magnetic field and motor starts to work immediately. Now let's have a quick review. DC motors are conduction motors and AC motors are induction motors. Mainly, there are two types of induction motors, three-phase induction motor and single-phase induction motor. Three-phase motor consists of two main parts, a stator which always remains stationary and a rotor which rotates continuously. This is a self-starting motor. There are two types of rotors as squirrel cage rotor and phase wound rotor. Single phase induction motor also has two main parts as stator and rotor. It is not a self-starting motor and needs an auxiliary winding to start the operation. There are three types of single phase induction motors, split phase motor, capacitor start motor and shaded pole induction motor. The common applications of induction motor are fans, washing machines, hair dryers, toys, etc.